Um, the next question I was going to ask um, was around regional branches. I wanted to ask Jonathan what you think the value of a regional section of One Voice would be and what you would like from it. Jonathan said there would mean more regular meetings with people of his own age and abilities and making friends in the local area rather than a broader area. I think the advantage of a regional um, section is that um, so much of what our children get is a postcode lottery. And so actually when you can meet up with people who are from the same area, not only do you get more, more of the kind of benefits of the weekend spread throughout the year, so meeting up with other people who use AAC, for whom that's the, their, their norm and their family norm, um, but also you can tap into some of that local knowledge, because I think the, the knowledge is, is just so key, isn't it? You don't know what's out there until someone tells you. And actually between a group of families, you've got quite a lot of, of that knowledge going on. And for new people coming in, that can be really helpful as well. I think for the siblings, it's, it's really nice for them to meet other children who are, for whom the family setup they have is warm. Thank you for the opportunity to make friends with people my age who use AAC. Fantastic. <laughs> From your perspective, what would the value of, of regional branches be? Well, partly it would be the logistical, that it would be easier to go to and be more regularly because the, the annual, it, it's not enough, is it? It's not frequent enough. But also then some of the knowledge about local services would be shared because it's so different depending on where you are in the country. So I understand that you've been to regional branch events. So I'd just like you to tell me a little bit more about what regional branches mean to you? Our local branch, Lake Sang Bay, was the very first one predating the formation of One Voice. One voice means the world to us. Without it, I simply wouldn't be able to go to university and succeed because I would be deprived from meeting other AAC users and I'd lack the opportunity to consolidate my communication aid skills. I think that because we, we live in the northwest of England, so it's quite, you know, there's not lots of people around. We were lucky that we met one or two other families when he was young, but it's that isolation thing. Mm. And more localised things mean that people don't have to travel so much. Yeah. They might get to know people that they can network with more regularly than once a year. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a huge opportunity there. The people who are here, it's great. And this is the biggest year I think you've had, isn't mm -hmm. it? The most people, 14 new families and a lot of people who've come before. But this is the tip of the iceberg. This is the people who've got far enough mm. with their young people to be able to get some sort of AAC in place. Mm. There's a huge number of people still out there who've not got what is needed for their young people to be able to communicate. So there's a lot to be done. One Voice can't do it all, but we can hopefully share just this is what's possible. And that's what people need to know because a lot of families don't even know that such a thing maybe not this, maybe it's a spelling board or something like that. They don't even know it exists, never mind what you can achieve with it. And so spreading that and sharing that is, is, is hopefully helps a family, many families who think, oh, that could work yeah. for us. And for young kids starting out on ASC, that like Adam said, you know, getting, meeting new people, consolidating skills, it's really important, especially if they're the only one in, mm. in their school. Mm. Building a One Voice regional network to be bigger and reach more people will be so powerful and help existing AAC users and all of those other people that we can't reach out to yet. To do that, we really need your help. We need more people to get on board in getting regional branches off the ground, to reach out to us, to say, yeah, we'd love to meet up locally. 
and to put us in contact with local organisations that we can collaborate with, local professionals, local families, so that we can work together to bring one voice and all the power of this community to regions around the UK.